friends. Okay, it is Sunday. <laughs> Sorry, I was MIA Saturday and Friday. Well, no, I did post a vlog Friday, but that was from Thursday. I don't know. Any hoozles. Carol Beth loves it whenever I go, I don't know. Oh, homie. Yeah, I sound like Marge from The Simpsons. I know. See? We're either going to say it's too much coffee or not enough. Hey, Hans, how you doing? <laughs> Anywho, it is Sunday. And to all of you, yeah, oh, I've got something on my lens. To all of you that have said you can't wait to see the paint, neither can I. Um, like I said, roughly last night, it was last night whenever I did that just real quick snippet blog um, on my phone. Um, it was after our grandbaby and them left. Um, Maddie, our daughter, or daughter-in-law, I call her daughter now, uh, my daughter, um, after they had left that I'd gotten on. But she loves to paint. Like when she did their kitchen, she literally woke up one night. She started painting their kitchen cabinets and kitchen at 2 o'clock one morning a couple of years back. Yeah. Yeah, and she loves detail work, like loves it, and she is very meticulous. So, uh, these windows don't have the grids like those windows. Anywho, these windows will be a little bit easier. I don't know if you can tell the shoddy job. I got y'all. Do you see how the trim is? And they got paint on the window. I don't even know if I can get to that one. That one's on the inside. But, uh, yeah. It is. Yeah, you could tell they just slapped it on. They weren't concerned about how they were doing. Um, these windows over here are going to be a booger bear. Um, the grids to the inside. But, um. Yeah, but she said she loves stuff like this. So, but you can tell how, okay, this is the wall. And they got that brown trim, that brown paint on the wall. So, yeah, she said she can fix all of that. So, and I'm trusting, I know she can. I know she can. Girls got this. Um, while we were out and about yesterday and we were getting paint and we were waiting on my van. Yeah. Yeah, shopping and games, she can lose your dipstick, I'm just saying. Um, we did pop in at home. Don't know if y'all have one of those. Our old Sears at East Hill Mall turned into an at-home store. And so I told Batman, I said, run me in there, because we have no curtains here now. We have no blinds, we have no curtains, we have no nothing. Our neighbor, I don't know if y'all can see our privacy fence, our privacy fence is not that private if our neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all in here. Yeah. It's all fun and games till you walk through about 2 o'clock in the morning in your boxers and your neighbor's out smoking on her carport, I'm just saying. And she's got cancer and she's still popping away. Any hazels. I'm not one to live anybody's life. It, we found, I dug through that clearance rack until I found some that would do both sets of windows. We got the two windows here, and then we got the two windows over there. Big Mama's all about that clearance sign. So this was actually a two-pack. Do you know how hard it is to find panels where you get two? I found some that I loved that was like this color, but it had the gray and the white um, tapestry design. I wanted those so bad, and I could only find two curtains. One panel per packet. And I dug through there, honey, I was digging worse than a chipmunk looking for the last nut at winter, I'm just saying. Anywho, we dug through and we finally found these. It's two pack, so, and they happen to have two of them. Yay! That man is actually going to make me a curtain rod because ours were like the little thin 
curtain rods, you know. We had just balances up there and mini blinds and Miss Doris. Yes, bless her heart. She tore up the mini blinds her first day here. So I really don't want to go back with mini blinds at these windows. Yeah. Hey, Doris. I don't think she would do it now, but Tootabod would. Hey, Toot. He loves sitting on the TV stand and looking out that window. The cat, we feed the outdoor cats. I don't know if you can see it. At that table out there that needs cleaning. Anywho, the other night we were sitting here and I looked out and there was a raccoon on that table. I don't know if I told y'all this story. He was on that table eating the cat food. And after, and he was just standing there, just pretty as you please. After he left, poor Noel, our cat, tried getting up there to eat. And then a cat from down the street, he came and ran her off. He ate. Yeah, yeah. And then when he left, Noel tried getting back up there again. And then some um, other cats came that are not our cats. <laughs> so I finally told Batman, I said, you're going to have to go out there and put some cat food out for Noel. He was like, no, I just fed her. You know, before we came in for the evening. And I'm like, yeah, but the raccoon's done eating it. And the other cat's done eating it. And now two more cats have come. No, we don't have any food left. <laughs> we are like the communal feeding house for any and everything. We've seen possums out there. We've got some really fat mockingbirds now. I'm just saying. It's because they eat that cat food. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to feed the cats. Anywho, it is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Today is supposed to be a plan with me, but it's going to be just run my pie. I haven't had a chance to really run my pie hole with y'all. So I might have to do two vlogs. One of me just running my pie hole for any and everybody that wants to hear me run my pie hole. And then I'll do another one of a plan with me. How about we do that? Let's do that. Um, and for those of y'all that had said congrats on the job, thank you. I was kind of doing it as a point. I'm going around turning off some lights. I was kind of doing it as a point to prove kind of how easy it is to get a job. We well, you go to the bank. Hey, are y'all hiring? Well, by the way, we are. And then we went to Ollie's. Hey, are y'all hiring? Well, yeah, we are. And I mean, the manager stopped me of, hey, can you come back at two? <laughs> and by golly, it was a different manager that gave me the interview, and she's like, I like you. You've got this job. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and to Cynthia, honey, I know you mean well, and thank you. Thank you for being truthfully honest, and you are truthful. Um, it is true. We do need to start holding our heathens a little bit more accountable. Um, the boy is starting to be more accountable. He has actually chipped in even more this week. Uh, he knew that we were kind of struggling. So he has, and he told me to use that money anyway I wanted to, that he wanted me to let me know that that was my money to use however I wanted. And so we used that money to buy the paint. So I told him, he's like, don't do anything for the house. You do something for you. And I told him, I said, well, I want... The pain is for me. It would make me feel so much better if this room was brighter. I spend 99.999% of my time in that room if I'm home. Uh, the other, well, no, I should say I spend 80% of my time in that room. The other 20% is in the laundry room. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for your concern and for your comments. Uh, um, and it, you're truthful. Um, but also, too, we're, I'm, I'm doing this trial run job. Like I said, it started out as just kind of a whim to prove a point how easy it is to kind of get a job. Yeah. And then I got to thinking that this would solve our dilemma because I was looking for something anyway. I was really looking for like an office position, but kind of like on Christmas vacation. He hadn't worked in seven years. Well, he's holding out for a management position. 
<laughs> I know it's not funny, but it is. Anywho, um, it's our stupidity that got us in debt, and we had stupid cards. If, you, if you're a Dave Ramsey fan, you know of what I speak. Um, I'm doing me a coffee. And yes, I said no more pods. We're finishing up the pods we have. We're finishing up the pods we have. I did order, I already have one of these. And you just fill it with your own coffee. I ordered one more so we can have kind of two at a time going. That had been our problem. Me and Brian would fight over the pod. Because <laughs> it was hard to dump it out. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, any hazels. Um, hey, now that I'm working at Ollie's, though, I wonder if I get a discount. Because that's usually where I buy my pods. Yeah. But, uh, trying to be income friendly with that. And environmentally friendly. I mean, these take up any hazels. Alright. I will be back. Hey, Huns. Okay, it is a Monday. I know y'all are probably thinking, where in the handiest has she been? I've been wondering the same thing myself. Um, Big Mama does have her job. Yay! I start tomorrow at 8.30. I work Tuesday and Saturday, 8.30 to 3.30. And then they know they're going to give me one more day in between. So that's only three days this week. So, yeah, yeah. Um, and then she said they probably would just kind of keep me at three days, which is fine. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but I needed something to vlog for today. Because I had to go and do paperwork. It's all fun and games. You can't find your social security card. I'm just saying. So, I'd spent the majority of my morning searching for a social security card I still cannot find. So, yeah. Yeah, I have to have my birth certificate. There you go. Good luck looking for something that's 50-something years old. Hey, hey, Brian. Woo, woo. I just come to my rescue two times today. He took baby girl to art. How did that go? Fine. Good. And then tonight, he is making supper. His specialty? Um, pork cantinas. Well, barbecue. Basically, barbecue burritos. Pork cantinas. Yeah, cantinas. Carnitas. Yeah. You got to be able to say it. Carnitas. Carnitas. Yeah, there you go. Anywho, <laughs> he is going to be showing how to assemble and make those. They are wonderful. So, take it away, boy. Are you oh. going to need this over there? or oh. Where do you need? Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. You're doing. All I had to do, buy the stuff, okay, which, barbecue sauce. yes, go check the okay. pantry. That's what I was doing. Um, it's, it's, yeah, you have pork, and we had some of that pork butt left. Yeah, it's that, and that I'd actually frozen, and so he just took that out when I told him, of, you know, if on Monday night, if you could do pork carnitas, I would appreciate it. So, we took out that butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then tell uh, them how yeah. to assemble it. The first time I did it, I just used uh, half pork loin. Um, and cooked it on the grill. But this is already Boston butt. Should be even better. So, I just shredded it up even more. Like that. Um, I add a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just to add some, well, not liquid, but some sort of fluid in there. I'm not going to do much just because this Boston butt is well seasoned. It's made from uh, Sam Freeman, a friend of ours. I love Mr. Tim's butt. He did an excellent job. He did. We got his chicken in there too. Oh sweet, handies to heaven. That's what we're having tomorrow night. 
Remember how we would set it with a lemon stuff? Mm-hmm. I think I need to add a little bit more. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, this time we're actually going to put an avocado in it. Um, I love avocado. I love avocado. Uh, I think it would be an excellent addition to this. But I tried this at a restaurant actually. I enjoyed it so much and thought there's nothing really too special about it that I can make this and I did. So, it was good. That's what I, I'm adding this. Um, I thought this was Sweet Baby Ray's. Actually, that's the one I like, Sweet Baby Ray's. But this would be... There's all these versions of it. Yeah, this would just be just as good. Um, but really, just whatever barbecue sauce you have on hand would be fine. So, we got our tortillas. The meat, got the avocados, and coleslaw. Um, the place I ate had um, jalapeno coleslaw, basically coleslaw and jalapenos in it, and uh, pickles. Um, she won't let me put the pickles in there, so but I enjoyed. I it. did buy pickles. You got pickles. I did buy pickles. Pickle I bought chips. pickles. Pickle yes, chips. for you. Bring them on then. I got the bread and butter. To Bring them on then. Them. Why are you holding up ingredients I don't have? Pickle chips, not dill pickles. Yeah, yeah. More They're in the pantry. They're in the pantry. They're in the pantry. Pantry I did bomb. I did bomb. I did bomb. So, yeah, I'm excited about my job tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to eat my avocado. So, that's what we got. Pickles. Hey. Hey, sweet girl. What are we doing for supper? Mr. Need... Brian is making pork carnitas. I think I need to reuse a uh, different... Use a new one or just... <laughs> Just put it on there. Just put it okay. on now. Alright, cool. There's nothing on oh. right now, but um but the juice. grease from that yeah, the grease from the bud. Bud juice is good. Yeah. I'm just saying. Too much. All the coleslaw is is a coleslaw like cabbage mix I bought. Um and then I do Hey, Stacy Casey, she gave me the recipe. It's mayonnaise, huh? Yeah, spoon. Yeah. And equal parts lemon juice, equal parts um, sugar. And you just kind of let it do its thing. And boom, there you go. But yeah, Brian's doing supper tonight. My hand's greasy. Canned. He's got it greasy from butt. Yeah. Butt creeps. Uh, excuse me. Alright, I dry, I dry my hands. Let me see if I can work. Go! Oh, oh hey, how about you? Yay! I can do many pickles. Just one or two. Mm. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Let me some Aldi pickles. So, that's what we're working with here. Avocados. If you want them. And that. <clears throat> yeah. That's what we're working with. Alright. Ah. There we go. Um. 
Do I need to do that other avocado or you can cut them thinner? I don't know. Let's see what how many this makes. Alright. So while you're doing that, mm -hmm. you want me to just close that up? Okay, we're going to show y'all how to assemble these. So, got the meat, uh, tortilla meat, just however amount you want, depending on what the size of the uh, tortilla is. Some avocado, I've just kind of been breaking it off and all. Don't mind getting messy, you gotta get messy sometimes. So, get your hands in it. Get that little chunk right there, yeah. Get. Uh, Coleslaw. Yeah, we're living it on counter space. That's one thing I don't like about our kitchen. Our old house, we had a long island. And me and Brian loved to cook. Yep. And we'd be all up in that island, wouldn't we, boy? Mm -hmm. all right, just a little bit of coleslaw. Uh -uh. That's the one thing I'm about to run out is the coleslaw. I can make it some more up. No, I wouldn't. No. Put two pickles. That's how I've been making them. And then how I fold it, I'm sure there's other ways. Like that. And then you just roll. Try to keep the stuff stuffed in there. And that's where you And you can see. He's just lining them up on that same pan that he heated that butt up on. Bam. And he's just going to make until basically the meat's gone. Yeah, until the meat's gone. Because we got more avocado. I can make up some more coleslaw. So he's just going to keep making. Make two more after this. Maybe one more. And then I just opened a bag of the chips from Aldi's and the mild salsa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if you get two more, that'd be nine to them. That'd be two apiece. I don't know about maybe one, maybe one. One might be skippy on me. Okay, and I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. It's just, it's been one of those. Like the past two weeks, well, actually, week has just been full. Um,. We started our painting yesterday. We got this wall. None of the trim has been done yet, but that wall has been done, and that wall has been done. And you can, and that wall. And you can tell the difference. All right, like this is the original color. This, this pukey eggnog, the beige. This is the original trim, and this is the gray. So, yeah. He just went through and took off all the plates and light switches and plugs and everything. So, and now that I'm looking at it, I want this painted gray too. This is like the wall where the add-on to the room was added. Um, I want those painted gray. I don't want it to be accented. To me, it shouldn't be an accent. It needs to be hidden. So, I want that painted gray. But the trim, this is going to be that baker's bakery box white, and then this is going to be the bakery box white. I don't want this painted gray. I want all of it done the white. And I think it's going to open. It looks so much better already. Um, see, there's the, there's the old wall. And there is the new wall. It's, it's almost got like a... A blue tint to it not much see there's the old there's the new. yeah it's dark in here right now because it's starting to get dark outside so but yeah yeah it was nice looking at this wall this morning while I was drinking my coffee he is gonna get some hole filler I can't remember if I discussed and talked that about that or not this morning yeah yeah like I said I had intentions of all good intentions of I'd make vlogs and I'd be meaning to post them and then I didn't post them. So, and then I would delete and the next day try to get started and then I wouldn't. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, here's all the 
pork carnitas made up. Are you going to heat them up? Mm hmm Okay. So he's Good gonna... for 10 minutes. Well, I did them on the grill last time. I got the oven still on 350, I think. Maybe five minutes. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go. I wouldn't go that long. Yeah, yeah. maybe five, five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Are you gonna put foil over them, or just pop them in there like that? Maybe I should. Because you don't want them getting hard. No, I just want them getting warm, warm inside. I would cover them in foil because normally, if you heat your tortilla in the oven, it says cover completely in foil. Right. I'll cover it completely with foil. Just say it. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cover your uh, your carnitas with foil. Um, heat them 350 for about five minutes. We're just kind of guesstimating on all this. Can you tell? Can you tell we're professionals? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought you were completely done. Awesome. Nice He's got one left. Last one. Last one. And you did have it. enough coleslaw. See how soupy it made it after it sat? Yeah. Um, I meant to make this way earlier. And I had to run to um, my job and fill out employment papers. Yay! Because now I'm employed. Yay! Mm -hmm. I'm struggling there. I'm playing tug of war. Get it? Get it? You can do it! Ah. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Mmm, that whole sauce is good. Avocado left. Me and the boy love avocado. Mm -hmm. You just don't tell anybody else. Alright, this is in here. Alright, that's in the house. <laughs> He wants it to be mine and his secret. We can go outside on the screen yeah. and porch and eat and act like we don't know nobody. Yeah. Now I'm making a house for the burritos. admit I do have to admit I love all these stuff I love those pickles but are not the great value bread and butter chips weren't they the best yes I think so. they were up there net right with my that's homemade why, that's what I'm saying I should have tasted it before I actually just threw it on there but they're good they're good but they aren't like great value is the closest to my homemade bread and butters we've ever come Mm -hmm. Yeah. My home age for the bomb. Yep. So, but we're just kind of heating that up. Um, we're glad to get a vlog actually up and posted tonight. Everybody has been wondering where Big Mama's been. Big Mama been busy. Big Mama been been riding crazy. Fat man's not here. He's working a side job. Yeah. Put my van in for a simple oil change. I don't know if that guy put it on this one or not. Put in for a simple oil change $225 later. Yeah. So. And I figure my, um, me working, it is just going to help us on our Dave Ramsey journey. We'll get there even closer. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. And when things like 
messy messing up or the uh-ohs of life happen, we won't be scrimping pennies and worried about every little dime. So, if, if it's just for a season, um, I can do it. You can do anything for a season. I've said that before. You can do anything for a season. So, God will equip you. See, if it was just you and me going on the cruise, we wouldn't have to have you working. All right? That's you true. You and me and the cat. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Bring in the cat, though. Look at his curls, y'all. It's getting curlier and curlier. Look at those curls. I like messing with him. Yeah, he's got to pick at the cat. Poor cat. Toot! Now he's looking like, what did you do? He's evil. Yeah, the cat does not like Brian. Anywho. So, but yeah, if it will help on our debt-free journey, then I'm all in. Like I said, Fat Man's working a side job right now. Um, yeah, yeah. So it is what it is. I mean, I'm glad I was given a job. Yeah, not many 50-year-old women can get a job as quick as I did after being at home for 30 years. So, they liked my... Hi, hon! Yeah, because that's how I approached the manager. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess that's going to end this one tonight. Or do I? No, well, no, we just need to show them the finished product. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to see the finished product. So, we'll be back. All right, so here they are now after they've been heated. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Miss Boo. Hello. So, they are heated through. Oh, they're nice and warm. Nice and warm. I'm ready to get me a plate. I'm going to get me some shelves. I think you finally wound up making 10. Let's see, let's count. And I do have the Aldi sauce, salsa. Little, and it's mild, but to me it's a little spicy. Yeah, so I'm going to do just a smidgen across my chips. Hello. Hello. Oh, everybody's been wanting to see you, sweet baby girl. Here's baby girl. Hi. They've been missing you. I know. Yeah, yeah. We haven't been actively vlogging, have we? No. No. we got to get back to it, don't we? Yep. 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 Mm hmm So we're up to 333 subscribers. Wow. Can you tell the new ones, hey? Hi. Who are you? Carol Beth. Carol Beth. So then you'll know, you'll learn the others by the boy and the girl, right? Yep. Yep. There's the boy. Hi. So, bam. There's my chumps. How many did you wind up making? One, two, three, four, two. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, two a piece. Shoot, yeah. I'm just going to get one for right now. I will probably eat two. Somebody's beeping something. Who's calling me? Was that one yours or mine? I have mine. no idea. Mine. <laughs> I think it was yeah. mine. No, it was mine. Oh. Hey. Wish. Yeah, you going to wish. <laughs> so, alright, any meal that I don't have to prepare is an awesome meal. I'm just saying. Any meal that didn't have to be made by these two hands. Yeah. And I'd actually put pork carnitas made by Brian on the... Compliments of the show. Um, on the menu. Because it has Monday's off. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god. That is good. Mmm. -hmm. That is good. Mmm. -hmm. 
Very good. All right. Time to go them. Put on those pearls. Put on that smile. Eat your carnitas. Carnitas. All right, try it. Can you jump by? Bye. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep. Say adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Of <laughs> y'all Y'all speak Spanish. Yep. What's that in Spanish, you know? Hola. Uh-huh. Adios. Uh-huh. There's some I remember, but... Eh. Yeah. What does the little mouse say? Andale, andale, yeeha, yeeha. <laughs> Speedy comes on in. So, until tomorrow. Andale, andale, yeeha, yeeha. You know, we said bye, oh, but man. we gotta get the kiddos' reactions. That was good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Becca said, uh huh. Brian said, uh huh. I'm getting into it. She's eating her chips first. Mm -hmm. She is an eat only one thing at a time type girl. But uh -huh. that, look Stop at that. Have it that table. That is so good. He looks like Mr. Noodle on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Too funny. I got your hair. <laughs> yeah, but I look good. <laughs> You're starting to get bald. <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> That's coming.